be a yes or no around the panel. Joseph Sharp, please. OK, I'd just like to ask the panel, where should Richard III be buried? Leicester, mm. Westminster or York? Or indeed Gloucester, as some have said. George, quickly. Has to be York. He built a mausoleum for himself there. <laughs> and, 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 and a person's last wishes should be honoured. He wanted it to be York. It must be York. Ma Maria Miller? Well, we've made sure that Leicester University has got some say in this, and I think there's a, a sort of a rule generally that when you exhume bodies from the ground, you try and rebury them somewhere close to where they were taken out. OK, Mary? Um, it's one for Leicester. I think... Um, Westminster where his wife is. Rich, Richard, um, Richard has been lying under Leicester Council Social Services car park for the last <laughs> five hundred years. I think he deserves a decent burial in Leicester Cathedral. Uh, <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> okay. um, I thought you were saying finders for a moment. Well, well I guess <laughs> not that bad. Um, I think he should be buried with his wife and Neville. Is buried in Westminster, but I know I'd certainly like to be. So I think if he were, you know, alive, which obviously he's not, he probably, he buried her there, he probably wants to be with her. Most people do. Right, say so Westminster Abbey. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, that's it. I'm sorry. And, uh, well, it's perfectly obvious where everybody here wants him buried. Um, our hours up. We're going to be, oh, we're going to be in St. Paul's Cathedral. I didn't mention St. Paul's. St. Paul's Cathedral, uh, where Nelson is buried. He was buried in three different places. They took. They yes. kind of broke him up and scattered him. <laughs> yes, thank you. We've, we've got to stop, Susan. <laughs> uh,